It doesn't matter how long you have worshipped, how long you have prayed, the king is coming. So we are saying, oh, the king is coming. Sing it out. Every eye will see him. Every eye will see the king. I say the king is coming. coming. Every eye will see him. Every eye will see the king.
He has made it possible for us to come thus far. Beloved in the Lord, there are so many things that are going on that mankind do not know. There are so many gifts that the Lord has prepared to impact into our lives. I should say, But it behoves on us. Then so, so. How faithful we will be towards God. And how we will embrace the things of God. And So this morning. I'm sharing with you on the theme. No matter what, do not change. No matter what, do not back from the Lord. No matter what, do not go back from the Lord. Because we do not know what is there for us, Sometimes we take such. Uh, in our decisions. No matter what. Do not go back from the Lord. We are reading from First Samuel. Chapter seventeen. And Eliab, his eldest brother, had when he spake unto the men. And Eliab's anger was kindled against David, and he said, Why camest thou thou hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart. For thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him towards another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Amen. 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 The Lord have mercy. David Na hina na wuja unwanka kra wowo wuram no share ne sa mede minim wa ni oden ene wo koma mu bone de da o se okun no hwe nti na usang bai na david se den na maye so enye asem bi nti na oda ne hu fi ni chen chere obi na oka sa asem no ara na nkrofo no de kan asem no ara bu anu na wati david nsem a okan no wo de kwoto so le nim Na o ma wako fa anu bai. Na dewi di kachire so se. Ima ne hon nye o biara abutu. Wa akwa beko eni filisti ni akoku. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Beloved, I said, I don't force any Amekai, you know. Difficulties are bound to come in the way of any living being. And if a beer, a beer, or Tanya, a mania, can be so. It doesn't matter the height the person has reached. And for an implement, so a nipper net drew. It doesn't matter the kind of pastor he is. And as the soft for buyer, oh yeah. It doesn't matter the home he is coming from. And I, a beer buyer, or free mo. Difficulties can never. Be taken away from any human being's life. And you know my day, and I, you know my anybody is here. Abra bum, you to me, you have every abra bum, money, yeah, yeah. But when we are able to take care of it by the grace of God, Nessu and Amaradia dom so eight me this one could name one. Then we shall be victorious. Ne and only a bayon could him before. But there are many people who wouldn't want to be in that situation. There's no people who hold my one person because I tell you to be any more. And so before you realize. They are back, I mean, from the Lord. Now, when you about Hosu Nubos and I was signed when a chief ever at home, we all know this story very well. But the Lord wants to teach us something this morning. Now, so a radical person or chain be an honor pay. We know when Samuel, Samuel called uh, Jesse Fiano. Okay, mission or the other one. When someone went to Jesse's house, he told him of his mission. Now Samuel and you was so then, and Samuel wasn't uh, stubborn or adamant to heed into the mission. Or catch the Jesse said, or China no pa. Me here we meet. Ah, I radiate when we say me me did you my own time. He said, as the Lord asked him to uh, say unto Jesse that by the next morning he needed all the sons of uh, Jesse for the Lord had sent him to uh, do something in their midst. You know, human beings we think, we, uh, I mean, we act the way we think. So the thoughts of Jesse were the things that panned out in, in, the, in the next morning. Now, so the Lord is saying unto you and me this day, no matter what will happen, let us not turn back from the Lord. Uh, the, the Lord has not uh, permitted his children to ever swallow something that is so bitter. He hasn't given us something that we, ha we do not have the grace to contain. So no matter how the world will go, let us not turn back from the Lord. Bible need the other thing say. A producer somewhere, a basra, Jesse Manmubino. The Bible makes us understand that when the time was due for one of the uh, sons of Jesse to be anointed by Samuel, Opushi Neba Kumano Eko Esreso. The young lad was pushed to go to the wilderness to tend for the sheep. Minimum posa, oh, please. Minimum posa, oh, aye. You know, uh, Samuel Claudia Minim, Bikra Humachipa, and Omopiano, Fanyano Quedi. I believe that Samuel might even not have seen him that morning. He was sent very early to go and tend for the sheep. Now, so, a sign, sir, or Nimunia, or your, and any papa, or Yentino, Wama Ye, and Munapemun. But because he knew whom he was and the kind of person God had made him, he wasn't discouraged at all. He did not hesitate at all with, a, with what the father told him. He didn't want to exchange words with the father. Beloved, how do we protect ourselves when we get to such you know, positions? David is here. For David, no matter what happened, he decided not to uh, turn back from the Lord. Little did they know that going to the wilderness was rather going to add up to his value. I don't know what wilderness you find yourself in. Amen. Let us continue to abide with the Lord no matter the wilderness experience we might be going through. It could be a patch land. 
I bet you may as I say as well. I'm Jeremiah says it. The Sanya Yeremia Kayan. It could be a sorty land. I bet you may and Chine as I say. Now, so some know you bet you know my radia. But then if you will stand for the Lord, some know you and say your team fear rather one and not turn back from the Lord. Also, so you know, Amen. Then the Lord of hosts is going to come to our aid. Up here, David, across the sooner. So David was in the wilderness while the brethren had gone to the battlefield. He was not trained, you know, uh, uh, how do I put it, officially as a soldier. But then because of the anointing of the Lord that was upon him, he was more than the uh, thousands of soldiers at the battle. My prayer to the Lord this morning is, this gift, the Lord should give unto all of us, so that it will abide in us, that we will be strong before the enemy, that his fire will encamp round about that us. Was what David encountered on the desert. Sir, and David, He had encounter with lions. And then some bears. Now so, no there was no uh, person there to help him, but then the Lord of hosts alone. Not knowing God had great plans for him, that is why he, he kept him in the wilderness. You know, Christians, many of us as Christians, we always think about the positive things happening in our life. That one we will testify right away. When the going get tough, but then when things get tough, and then that is when certain believers, be it uh, men or women, tend to maneuver from the way of the Lord. Amen. My prayer is that you wouldn't find yourself in that position. But then the Lord will bless you right at his feet. And his hand will be upon you right here. You don't need anybody to tell you, sir, you see, and I say, that be God. Who knows everything? He is going to accomplish whatever he has stated concerning your life, concerning my life. So as it was when he got to the battlefield, it was the same. So when he had been sent to take food to his brethren and to bring news uh, from the battlefield when he went, he had an encounter that confronted him just as he experienced even when he was in the wilderness and they were about uh, anointing him. And when the elder brother Eliab saw him, he began questioning him, asking him of his uh, purpose over there. I know of how conceited your heart is. Amen. My prayer is that if there is any zeal that we need to be able to stand by the Lord, may the Lord grant us in multiple folds. But never back out from God. The Lord has a gift that is given to each and everyone. He has a purpose for our existence. Thank God that you are still alive as, alive as well. Say Amen. If you will be able to do that which the Lord expects of us and do it well, then his blessings will continually be with us. Not only did Eliab the other brother confront him, even when the story was narrated that this young man says he will march, you know, uh, Goliath, you know, not a idea, I just said, uh, 
so king so na ya dia osri e ya de sire when uh, the king saw was informed of uh, david's intention to go and fight goliath he himself found it very uh, funny and then he ridiculed him so ko ko din ko nimi dia mano no onu mom enso ebu na ba mum and so Saul, on whose behalf David wanted to fight and bring victory for, uh, wanted to discourage David. David, But then once again, in spite of all that happened, David didn't turn back from the Lord. When we find ourselves in a critical moment as Christians. So yeah, uh, what is our composure like? How do we behave uh, when we are faced by such situations? Certain people know that uh, being wealthy or having enough money proves that you are a good Christian. That was the, the, the way of life of the Pharisees. And now Pharisee for no no no. Anyone who is well blessed with uh, animals with money and the rest that person it means that person knows god very well but the ways of mankind are not and it can never be the word of god the Lord has very great plans for you and me. And he has plans of elevating us. And the Bible may say promotion doesn't come from the exams that we've written or whatsoever interview that we attended. North, in South, East and West. Amen. But scriptures make us understand that promotion comes not from man or any effort of man, but from the Lord. So when you get to a point where David got to, and you know the God you are serving, you will not back away from God. Amen. May the Lord help us even as we journey on. Because they are just adding up to numbers. There are so many people that are a river or a sea or whatever and some people just serve as a bridge upon which we cross to the other end of the journey some are like the billboards they are directing people to heaven but they as a billboard will never get to heaven David got to this position. David He met the brother. Instead of encouraging him or telling him something good so that even when he goes back to the father, to the father, I mean he will be able to narrate the scene at the war front unto him. He couldn't do so. No moment, PhD pull him down was the thing that was raining as at that time and it's raining very heavily here in our modern world. The Bible says David and when Eliab, David's oldest brother, heard, his, uh, heard him speaking with the man, he burned with anger at him and asked him, Why have you come down here? And with whom have you left the few sheep in the wilderness? I know how conceited you are and how wicked your heart is. You came down only to watch the battle. The young man had gone to the battlefield and he didn't do anything wrong. But the brother said, 
But then the brother said, I know how wicked your heart is. And that is why David spoke and said, So can't I speak at all? And then David said, So mean to me, Enka, mean to me, Enka, sir. I've come to such a place and I've seen what is going on. I wouldn't turn back. I'll stand. I'll go to the battlefield and victory will come. That was the, 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 the you know, the zeal in, uh, uh, in David, God's zeal in David rekindling itself at that point. If there's any dead zero, if there's anything we have left behind, Amen. May the Spirit of the Lord rain His fire and kindle it once again. May the, come, uh, for the Spirit of the Lord come within us. Consume what he asked to consume and replant what he has to plant. Amen. In Christ Jesus' name. Bible said David if you walk and nipa fufro and chain no muka some crona chira no said you baku papa yo jiway nifie omun to ya to obio so David David went ahead asking around what would be done to or given to anyone who destroys the Philistine and he was made aware of the rewards that were at hand being the, the uh, non-paying of tax and then even giving of the king's uh, daughter in marriage. David Amma and so uh, he wasn't discouraged by the speech that uh, he heard and he went further to Saul when he went to Saul Saul met him and said ah and so when he got to Saul, Saul was expecting a muscular person, someone who was a giant, to be able to fight on their behalf and not expecting a, a, a tiny little boy. When I remember what the Lord has done, I, I will, will never, never go back anymore. When, when I, I remember what the Lord, the Lord A very ancient gate blocking the way of God through, you know, uh, David to be manifested. They wanted to block it. And see, Nipakomi and Sao Shia, Dick Edika, and Nia Bema, a penny Eliab, and a slap for Domna Kana or Nyam Konga Sai, and a soul, Lomuni Naka, Estate Apuna, a C. David, the Quine Sai, and could be a was an insakan and can in Sanka. And a petty Apuna be. This morning there are certain Asian doors that are being hindrances in the lives of some people. But then if you will not turn back from the Lord. After 430 years. Amen. Then the mighty hand of the Lord which he used in working great uh, miracles in the land of Egypt after 430 years. He would use him to uh, work in your life and in my life as well. David knowing who he is and the God that he serves he was never discouraged. Yesterday maybe you were discouraged by a certain situation and for that reason you, you were uh, pleaded with even to come to church today. Brother, would the answer the same? Likewise, uh, you are brother. 
As if we are worshiping for that person. We need to know this God that we are serving very well. So that no matter what, we will not go back from God. Because there is something greater, not great, greater ahead of us. There are, you know, goodies that God has put into a package to bring unto us. Let me take this opportunity to say, maybe I may forget it. When we were worshipping, the Lord revealed that angels were everywhere in this auditorium and a compound as well. And a certain man gave an order that they should begin to give gifts unto, uh, should I say, the church. But what saddens my heart is that not all of us were able to receive such a gift from God. It means such people are like they've got into a situation so much that God is not the owner of their bodies. But God has given a gift in white envelopes to many of us here. I am number one. And you are number two. Ashe Bohamu Edi Amaye Yemudu do an eye wahanum say I'm Gidia Same Kahubi. Now so come. I pray that it will never evade you in Jesus' name. Amen. Men Pai Bona said and moment so they be able to Even as we are still in service, God will be able to pass on to those who didn't avail themselves so that they will also go home with the package of Christ. Amen. David knowing what he can do by the grace of God, not by his power. David, he told so that I can fight this man. But if I can fight him, I want to cite an example that has taken place in my life unto you, King. There came a time where a lion came to pounce on my sheep and then I, I, I cut the lion and then opened up the jaws and then took out my, my, my sheep from the mouth of the lion. Amen. Likewise, the uh, bears also attacked my sheepfold, but then I, I didn't allow the sheep uh, to be destroyed by the bear, but rather I was able to kill the bear and then deliver my sheep from the, the hands of the bear. David, All being that David knew the God he was walking with. Forgetting, ni brother, no ni refi. David The brother Eliab had forgotten the nature of David or the kind of person he was at that time. Sabre no not David when ya and was ra a feed the number one you know prophet no war Israel as at that time. So at that point David had been anointed by the uh, nation's prophet, being prophet Samuel. Okay, uh, first Samuel chapter sixteen. When you read from first Samuel chapter sixteen. Verse for time's sake 12 13. You move do me and only do me and sir. First Samuel 16 12 13. First Samuel 16 12 13. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ready and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, Arise. anoint him, for this is he. 
Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David mm. from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. <laughs> destroy the one that God has blessed. And the Bible refers he was then operating under I mean, a different level. He was operating at a different level. So Eliab had forgotten that he forgot that because of that anointing that uh, took place from Samuel as the prophet, as the judge, as the seer of Israel, that nobody can cover it. Now, David so in the name of our Lord Jesus. I pray. The anointing that makes us outstanding. The anointing that can promote. The anointing that can turn uh, bad destinies to uh, good ones that we are even able to become rulers. That anointing. It isn't only David. But then may it be poured upon us as well. May the anointing of the Lord elevate us. In the 90s, now, it is a fool, baby. Now, you have to say, I do mean, you have to say, 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 you have one one were very dedicated and committed in the things of God and God Himself. It was so, you know, glorious, so awesome. Seeing how they were so happy because they know that if the trumpet is to sound at that moment, surely they will also fly. And so we were singing a song that uh, children of God, we are soaring, uh, and then as children of the spirit, we are we are soaring high. And then I'm sure one and Esan send you now home when you say I saw a woman on any send you now more to you. No more in us was to say, and ready at any word you inquired, yeah, or mean a big boomer too. I don't for so I ready a baby saying and pray prayer. If the trumpet of the Lord is to sound, where will we stand? But I won't be in your body. Like a, a, a register, school register. What about doing? Oh, Jerusalem. Me no yachafa wahine. As uh, the, the roll call is going on, uh, where will you and I stand when the Lord is to call? David knew his God. David no nimi nyankopo. So in that tough situation, he did not turn his back towards God. The saint Tibia na e dini ni ne mnuwa na ni nechi. He did not say, "Let me go and prepare well and come and meet this man." But he knew that that same God had been with him in the wilderness is with him there. Because the Lord God I pray will be with us. In all our endeavors, oh, yeah, yeah. may this God be with us. Amen. May He strengthen us. May He help us. May He wipe away our tears. The Lord has made us to know that Radio. when a saint cries, it isn't a, an angel that He sends in to come and wipe maybe the tears. When a saint, real saint of God, cries unto God, he himself come down to collect the tears. Erade amaya tears yes eh wabra na hotu se na hotu fu eti nisuya onu erade na kasa ebe 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 kra nisuya no beji nisuya no. Enti ano pe nisuya biara wuti e wakukuemu na u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u
No, Amen. So whatever tear you shed in private, the Lord is going to come to your aid today. David had the anointing of God upon his life, something that eluded the brothers. Uh, David, so It isn't because of age. Na enye bi. Anyway, it isn't because of a training. Like we sent uh, some of our soldiers to go to Achiasi to go and be trained over there. Gorilla, what do they call it? Uh, 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 soldiers at Achiasi, you can't be them, but it isn't that kind of training. Uh, David received his training from above. He received the power from high. I pray that that same gift be multiplied unto us all. Amen. You see, when Jesus came on earth. The Davidic, I mean, uh, 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 power was still at work. Not uh, to me, I heard you are David. So, another so, yeah, you must have. Why am I saying so? I didn't think I make us when the blind Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth passing by. Well, brought uh, Timio, but Bartimaeus, I think, say, uh, yes, you could so Nazareth, you know, and I ate your mono. He started shouting, he didn't say Jesus of Nazareth, but he went down. To let the Lord know that He knows Him. But when Nazareth, he asked the Son of David have mercy on me. that David Amen. Uh, my prayer is that the power that is within the Son of David that is able to deliver us be be, be upon you and me as well. We all know what. The end of this issue came to. When Goliath was, was well dressed. Not Goliath was Later on, I saw some Roman, you know, uh, soldiers and the rest. Some of later, I believe they learned a lesson from Goliath's sin. Now they, they cover the, the entire face here with a, a metal. Because if you leave that place. He is like a naked wire. <laughs> and he will surely give it to you. Goliath, he will not change. Me, who say after they do, a slap for him. Or she show him one. Or the daddy any be cut out. Any means and say, we just can't be a one who is a booby to me from me. But meanwhile, the mouth is there. The mouth is there. Then so we not yet. We will shoot at the mouth. Just with one stone, a bob, a the Lord will bring them down. I ready you on the two form. Just don't worry. Yourself so might at this point just be with the Lord. Oh dear, what's up with Yana say over butter? You know, it's it's a matter of having patience. That is what is lacking in many Christians' life. And only idea I But as to God who helped David, he has not changed. So the same God. Is going to help us. And as we know, when David, the, you know, the battle line was drawn and David was moving, Goliath was coming with his javelin. And David so the search of Goliath alone was another threat to David. Uh, David, Namidia uh, uh, said, told David, so uh, yes, Goliath, Sanya or so no one in a idea told David so. And Nuna at all saw me, Nasraf was a warning to me and Quenim for 40 days. This man was just insulting them and God. Uh, that was the same thing that Saul and the people saw that for 40 days they watched Goliath defy the name of Israel and their God without being able to face it. But then when the great God intervened, he who is the same yesterday, today, and forever when he intervened in the situation, David handed the battle unto him. David had a 
Whereas, you know, uh, 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 Goliath thought that, oh, this boy, I'm going to finish him so quickly. Yeah. So he was coming towards uh, uh, David. Ah, now Goliath to choose a way to bring to a come here, being to me, we we no cry. Into no other day, I'm wondering now, and now about David. So the king saw was hiding somewhere. His son was also good at a battle at the battlefront. Uh, Jonathan was also hiding. Uh, many of them, and then David's three brothers they were there. They were all hiding. And to him, he saw not in work with him. Ah, old Johnny Free Goliath and him, Neba Jonathan, and also a Sren is a Sana David in your memo penny for me and Salon Sono, Omina, Omako Pebe, Biashe. My dear one, never go back. Many other four and Nanuachi. Unshira, a well name here. Your blessings are right before the Lord. Your blessings are right now. And if you only you pick it with faith, I suffer Radi Ebema Ebe Daddy. Then the, Lord, the Lord will cause it to manifest in your life for people to see. Hallelujah. Amen. I be a when certain certain things happen to certain Christians that are so bitter, people tend to brand such people that uh so so niato no. Uh, oftentimes, uh and who send your ma egg, you know be a cause who be my bra boma. They 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 make a mockery of such people saying that these are the so-called Christians and look at what has befallen them. So when you read the verse 36 to 40, now, okay, you see, you your servant has struck, has struck down both lions and bears and wakua ekum jata eni insisire nyina na filistini momrontoyi enye se wo mu biakoa se wa se wa twa onyankopon tiasefuo impesua i empoa he says that uh, your servant has killed both lion and bear and this uncircumcised philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living god now david can say awradia oyi mi jata ani insisire ensemo no onwara obeyi mi philistine ni insam ana so kachira ni say kachira david say ko na awradi ebedi wachi and then David said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of the Philistines. So Saul said to David, Go, for the Lord be with you. Why did Saul say this? I didn't know that uh, Saul can't, sir. Wasn't Saul the first king that was anointed over Israel? So, and yes, Saul, I know you're here, and 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 you're but David got hold of God. And nothing moved him, nothing at all. Now might be David the song says be strengthened in the Lord and do not be dismayed for the Lord whom you serve always is the one who is going to deliver you I believe that this was the song David sang Sa 
or no, or becoming one day. Yeah, and Nipa or Jina way, or Choy on Puano, or the Nebesha Mesa. So he sang, uh, he said to the king that the Lord who was with me in the wilderness and gave uh, the, the lion and the bear for, for me to destroy them is the same God who's going to give this Philistine, this uncircumcised being to me, to destroy him. So he, he took that step based on the zeal and then the, the confidence he had in God. It is my prayer that we will get to that same level. Where we will be able to take a, a stand for our God. It doesn't matter whatsoever we are facing. I know of just one God. And Jesus Christ. his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Once I am free so he didn't turn back and so he killed goliath and then uh, uh cut off his head and as he said that he was going to kill him and feed him to the birds in the in the air exactly that happened david was able to do this because of a reason David, to me, you know, when you read Daniel chapter 11, verse, I mean, 32, uh, Daniel, uh, uh, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, the Bible says, those who are of the Lord, they will be saved. Those who are of the Lord, they will be saved. Those who are in Christ, who are in Christ, should I put it, who are in Christ, not anybody. The, the Bible is saying, those who know their God, and they, they, they are strong, they will use that strength to do exploit for the Lord. Train my head. I said, "So when I will name when you come, when I will Christ, when name Christ, now or Safo or Shaw or Hodei, now or Yad, yes, sir, I did name you." At times, because we are human, it's a total essence here in the penalty. We tend to forget quickly. Yeah, you really feel in them. That Jesus Himself said it in Matthew eleven twelve. Say yes, you know, because I can't remember what you did, but I could you move me alone. That the journey that we are embarking on. Say, and I'm on a year to know. It's not going to be easy. And yeah, yeah, that form. It's going to be tough. Uh, 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 but he is the one who is leading us, and therefore we need to keep our peace. And now it sounds so new. Idea, kind to know. I will say you can't. You are coming. Do you see a few or so born your hand is so any best in there? Say since the time of John the Baptist. The kingdom of God suffereth violent. It suffers violence. And if only we have relied on the Lord, then definitely the Lord is going to take it. And the one who has taken certain people, that uh, there are certain brethren who have already uh, crossed uh, to the other side. On sister. He, he doesn't change. His word makes us understand that he's immutable. You can change. <laughs> Because he was a, 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 God himself says he is a man after his own heart. David, Amen. May we be men and women after God's own heart. Any step that we will take, so that, so that whatever thing we will do will be people after God's own heart. 
job that we will enter. In any work we do, may we gain the favor of the Lord. So that that distinction will be drawn. So that distinction will be drawn. For all men to know that he who has Christ is far above the one who does not have Christ. So David eventually killed Goliath. He beheaded Goliath with his own sword. That is only done with the grace of and then the anointing and the protection of God. So David did not back out as the, the brothers did. So when they were going home, they had to carry him. That uh, uh, David. So David did David. And so uh, David, uh, uh, upon that victory, was ca- carried uh, up high, and then they were singing songs of praises for him. And King Saul couldn't contain it. He could not co- so, contain it. He could so. not control himself as well. That's all about you. So, Esan said, David, ya peja nse okum prim prim prim. Because saw the okum prim. Uh, they attributed so much greatness to David that he is able to defeat thousands. Uh, and uh, ten, ten, ten thousands and then saw uh, thousands. I'm sure they, they would uh, lay down their clothes for him to, you know, thread on. Stiffness. Boom, boom, boom. Also, it's why it, why it buying. Hey, amazing, sir. Ah, 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 who, I can't say. Ah, who go mule? Almost saw ah, who go mu. But amazing, sir. Who the makanya she? No, my buying. Uh, mostly when the women are dancing, you can see that they, they, they exude some joy, and then they are flexible in their way of dancing. While the men, on the other hand, mostly very stiff in their way of dancing. Uh, that is the nature of men. That is how most men are. The Bible tells us that when they were praising, you know, David in that manner, Saul became angry and became an arch enemy towards his own son who had won uh, the battle for him as a king and the entire uh, Israelites. And Chirena Mayati has just said, his son, Ayeye, and now, Hori Omu Hori Hori David, and you know, and my son, Bufui, and my brother, and it's time for him, and my David, and my brother, and my wedding, and my brother, 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 and it's time for Because he did not back out, look at the praises that were being, you know, poured on him. His son said, one son in a chin, and you know, and he said, you can't fall, and he said, you can't fall, and he said, you my prayer to the Lord is that just a moment even if it is left with just a moment for him to appear. May the Lord keep us under his canopy. Amen. So that whatever glory, whatever good things that the Lord has in store for his children, you and I will be partakers of it even in No heaven. matter what, do not back from God. We see the same scenario even in 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 1 following. When, you know, Elijah was about leaving the earth, he knew it that the Lord was going to take him away. I don't know whether uh, when he had the message uh, at first hand, whether he passed it on to Elisha, that one the Bible is silent. Uh, told the boy, please tell here. At Gilgal, stay there. The Lord has sent me to go and perform a duty for him. 
He says, so long as the Lord lives, and you, my master, you also live, I will never turn back. And this grace, this strength, this confidence that we have in God, amen. May we never miss out on it in Jesus' name. That is what is able to uh, propel someone that even at the point of death or being beheaded, he will be able to stand. The young prophet who were at school, you know, came the way of Elisha told him what is ahead. And he said, you people keep going. I also know it. And you know, at times when we act in that manner, it helps to prevent the, the, the devil to come into our lives to destroy us. By that I mean, when we are able to keep certain things as a secret, he operates through his agent. It is our God who is the Almighty and therefore he knows everything. He need not operate through an angel before he can rescue us. He can do it at any time. So the master Elijah told Elisha, stay in Gilgal, God has sent me. I'm going to perform that duty and come back. And to Nira Elijah, Ekachi Elisha said, Tana Gilgal na radia suma mi semi kodi jume bi me kona maba. Beansua okono. Uh, and yeah, Gilga and Kasakura no yeah be abone cross at that time. Gilga means where you know reproach was taken away, uh, taken away from uh, the, the Israelites. And, and so Gilga was not a bad place. Now a Jehoma be a ye Israel for na hohra. You know they went into slavery for 430 years. Oko uh kwasumu in fear a hana near your son. So there was that uh, uh, disgrace the way uh, 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 their uh, lifestyle was even not appealing so much to God yes, until they got to Gilga. Uh, of course, I had to be an empty now. A whole row or one so I know a brother born in Shadan Yedi and Yunyamu Kopimzo drew Gilga. In fact, it was at Gilga that God reminded uh, Joshua that this is what I covenanted uh, uh, with my people through Moses that they should have circumcision. Any male born should be circumcised. It was in Gilga that God renewed that covenant. Into a Gilga, Koyana Radesai, to Joshua. Eighteen Apama or the Mosi Ekoyeno, who drew Honum say, I was say Israel for one man in Yana Eka or Hukatiano, a Sabia, and a Radesai Kenya as our permanent mobile. And the man of God told the servant, I'm going to Bethel. Uh, Stay here quietly. I feel or catch and say, okay, yeah, may call Bethel in tea. Tina Hanum say, a mummy. And so I say, sir, ye young Pontias in a mirror, what you say, Bethel, may not be called. But then he said, so long as the Lord lives and you also live, I'll go to Bethel with you. One person was like, I'm you so. They say, we are Jimmy. I'll rather ask mommy, Jericho. Jericho, so quiet now. Pepe Bittina, Bethel, fine place. Good guy, a fever, fine place. Uh, 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 and so he was he, he asked him to remain uh, at Bethel even as he journeyed to Jericho since he refused to remain at Gilgal but then he said no once the Lord lives and then you also live and I am also alive then I'll continue to go with you till we get to your destination so at Gilga the next obstacle standing the way of Elijah was the river Jordan and to what Jericho and that the idea of the idea of Elisha and him a Jordan as you know but he still said he was not going back now, so I say, on sign a cheat. 
He will go with the master. He saw what the master did and the water parted into two. The Israelites have really experienced miracles. It was to the Israelites that the Lord was able to separate the sea and make the water seem as though uh, concrete walls that uh, were separated. If it's not of carnality, I believe that the Israelites uh, shouldn't even be in a position to sin against God again. Elisha the Osimira me no be ko Jordan me no be ko so he decided to go on to Jordan with him and he um okay me no be ko akodru kena aye osi oni ni be ko Jordan ni be si in si so he decided to go with him to uh, Jordan and then uh, no matter what would happen he was willing to go my dear one it doesn't matter the situation we are going through we cannot give any excuse if we forfeit this great salvation may god help us Amen. may god help us even than the people that we are talking about here and so because uh, when you look at Matthew 11 uh, 12 coming when the Lord Jesus said that even the least in the kingdom is greater than John the Baptist it means the Lord has really counted us worthy he has loved us and my prayer is that that love wouldn't be the superficial kind but a very profound one. So he asked him to uh, remain there even as he journeyed to Jordan but then he refused to do so. It was then that the master realized that the young man was after something, something that would help him. So it doesn't matter what will confront us. Never go back from Christ. He is the only one that can equip us. He is the only one that can make us, you know, a uh, uh, blessed people. He is the only one that can lead us. He knows the way and he will lead us to get to the celestial city. Hallelujah. Amen. That was the mindset that Elisha was having. God should grant that unto us. He should grant us that anointing that Elisha had. When he asked of the double portion, the master said, you have asked for something that is so uh, uh, strong or so, uh, how do I put it? Great. Uh, so so uh, difficult to be performed, but uh, if what, you see me being carried away, then you will get that double portion of the anointing I worked with. And the Obusa Nira Elijah said, "Ope, go shano amahumi no no." Omani who said, "Yawa Obusa ne yadi ayi de impa nensu no so who said Oshim na kwa nenye nensa beka as go shana wa Obusa no." So when the uh, uh, Elijah parted the water into two. They all went through, and the water came back. And Elijah, a pie in Sioni, no money now. After Jordan, a Sioni, no coin, and a sink a sea. But Elijah was not alarmed. Then so Elijah, we are who Anton so. My dear one, you are afraid of witches and wizards. Ebi a usura be ifo do do. Go to your Bible and see. For training, no neshe. The Ephesians chapter 6. When the Lord was trying to spell out, you know, those that are evil, witches and wizards, they are not they, they were not part of it at all. They are the 
the least. They are the least. Let us say, oh, to me, near him, no, and another person be seen. If there's anyone who is money, if there's any in our midst, like the naked wire, you can't know. It's a like a naked wire. I'm not paying your major and king. Amen. May the fire of the Lord destroy. I'm not paying your major and king. May the fire of the Lord consume them. Because we belong to a great king. Amen. We are not ordinary. Oh, you don't believe it. My Bible tells me we were purchased dearly. And so my body, my soul should all glorify God. And as Elijah was taken away, Elisha saw him and he shouted, Masa, Masa, the, the chariot and whatever of Israel. He said it and the Masa went away. Now, but uh, lo and behold, as his, his heart desired, the Lord by his mercy brought down the mantle of Elijah and it fell on Elisha. Amen. And to train my I say, oh, bright, I say, I'm not ever far. Elijah, no, Elisha, eh, we are our castle, Mira Mira, Israel, uh, Tiasian, I'm there upon Cossetis for no, a banner, Sapa, Pengu, Sona, Nagu, a new Elijah, Sono, as honey by a big gun, Sona, and Saka, and Yana, or she. And when you take your time, you study the, the life and ministry, ministry of Elisha, you really see that everything Elijah did. He did a double of that because he asked for double portion. And now, Otto Bona Oshe, Elisha, Abra, bought a friend, you know, yeah, and now Otto Mu said, Dear Elijah, yeah, he be an oyer and a Mohumian, which I said, Obusa said, and Sabaka and was Rano Mohumian. To the standard, even his dry bones, dry bones, so, and Pony no pair, one coquano, who wake somebody who is dead. To me, come name, back to life. I will fall and more back. And a place of whooping when I want. If there's any death uh, threatening us, yeah, what you are warning us, I'm on Zoom. Could never know who overcame death and Hades. The Dean of Jesus Christ, his name is Jesus. And none of a among the world, amen. May he come into your life today. A chapter, I saw any fire, any burning, and from a bonny beer, any evil wind that is blowing, any death that is roaming about. One of us, you mean, never. Dear man of us, we are not part of it. May the Lord exempt you and me and the entire family. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, yes, Christ to them. To the extent that his dry bones, Elisha's dry bones, was able to give life to somebody. It could be a person who It really encouraged me whenever I talk about this portion because it gives Christians hope that. We will not. Those who are even uh, taking the lead, they've been buried at the cemetery or whatsoever. We will not remain there. Me kind train on me do some but maso ya ma minya roche musa eni ya yet tiri for wana we train mu koni ya yensi ebe kudrun yen yen kasa si so esan se nompem put me din kwama ubia. So we need to follow Christ sheepishly. Na I was saying ye di Christo e chikra ye nye bibibia. As if we don't know anything, all that we know is Christ, Christ, Christ. Ye yen kwa fwa ye nim shwe, na ye di ye di ye di ye ane say ye be di Christo e chikwa. Let's quickly look at certain things, uh, certain benefit that we will obtain when we, we, we do not part or we do not go back from the Lord. One, such people receive special visions from God. We see here that the Lord was revealing something to. Uh, his own people, especially Ezekiel. Yehuna said, "Na eradi ede bibi di ache Ezekiel." In someone's land. Ewo ananafuasa siso. Ezekiel chapter one. We do for Ezekiel go maleti bako. One to five. Yimu bako ebesi nun. Ezekiel one one to five. Ezekiel one one to five. 
Now it came to pass in the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Kibar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Joachim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kibar. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. Hallelujah. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Amen. Amen. Nafiatoswebiasa <laughs> Nami hui na she e hu bi tu fi e ti fi fem bai o munu kum ke se ni o ja e tu e tu am na o hrang e chang we shia na e fin 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 ti se si ka ne bi tem fra fra ya adro abua e ni o ja nu in fin fin na e mu o ati a se fo ba na se subi na se wo su ti ni wo wo o ni pe su bai amen amen such people receives you know visions that are of god so, it comes in, into play in their lives wana wana no wachi em free arade ho no safo no onya arade mu ani suade hu no my dear one the lord has made you a prophet has made your wife a prophetess i pray that henceforth you will never go to anybody Amen. to ask of the word of god but God will speak directly to you. Amen. 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 At the battlefront with this man Goliath. Yehu, our David, from Goliath, see our new issue. The Lord had already anointed him. Na eradi edi kaya srano ngo. In chapter sixteen. Our T Dunsi. And in chapter seventeen. Na T Dunsi ono mono. He went to the battlefield and found this man blaspheming and uh, uh, you know insulting God's uh, people and God Himself. Oko eko hu se na. Not knowing God was going to use that opportunity to stir up the, the, the giftings that he has uh, 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 anointed him with. He didn't know. That was the gateway for David to become the king over Israel. I know any be a puno ama David so obey or he knew with Israel, my mo. I pray that such a door my prayer turning that. our destiny uh, will never, will never operate against us. Amen. So uh uh puna a see shabra quino and any me no me and yes ye the beer that you betray. I suffer ready ever yang. Amen. The Lord will help us. Before we get to the gate, it will Open by itself. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, yeah. God's glory will uh, will be upon such people that you cannot explain it. And so when uh, Solomon as a king came to the throne. We all know what happened after he had built that 
a magnificent temple on, unto the Lord and he brought everything pertaining to the, the service in that temple Solomon ebedi ade e wo Israel memu na o si asori dan ke si e ne nyo ma e sombo a o de e ba asori dan ni mu wi he no o twi ni ma ni papa apegu ni papa David apegu o se wo de be ye osom e wo asori dan ni mu nyina ba ye no and after he had brought everything that the father David had kept to be used in 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 uh, putting up the temple and then uh, decorating the temple bible ni dia dan se se a danoa omugu e danu e e prona no asofua wo nya wo ye levite omubi ara ntumi anwo dan ni mu ankosom and the day of dedication even the levites who were priests couldn't even go into the temple to worship aden tira san san na nya me ani onyama shehoma amen because the place was filled with the glory of god already ani onyam entongu yeso amen may we experience the glory of god and to say abri bonsuo may it rain like water to be stopping or very strong water that no one can stop unless a year because I ready which I want to have a dear I do so I do so my until we are we are we testify that indeed we have seen enough when you say a busy year it happened in someone's life Bria I ready share Moses sir one year in Tamadino when the Lord ordered Moses to put up the tabernacle or catch and say one year or what a come up so what the man will give you one time and he told them that those who are willing to give you can receive from them now and coffee the name of by your mouth here at moses who drew you know so i have a year you can know one paper being from you and yeah i did that have you and yeah ordinary team be no mom see can they get any near my a summer ball moses said i a year and the people gave so much in abundance that it got to a time that Moses asked them uh, to keep or hold back whatever they had to give because it was more than enough for, for the usage of uh, putting up the, the, the tabernacle. That is what the Lord intends for, for us. The Lord's purpose for our lives is to be filled with the glory of god wherever we find ourselves again such people eat the fruit of the land and the first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 yeah or catch us my aim yentintim so Hallelujah. First Corinthians 15 58 makes us understand we shouldn't be moved, uh, we, we shouldn't be discouraged because our labor in the Lord wouldn't be in vain. Isaiah, please. Safono emrengu that you will toil in vain. No be abetu to into man or no abetina say I can church house abedi. No, you, you, yes, you, yes, you will reap whatsoever you have sown. Amen. And you will have abundant even to give unto others. Amen. The Lord's mercy will do this. Amen. Everybody, every man was so they are well. We're dealing in our soul, but the one can say so. Again, such people do not look around them. No, they always look unto God. So I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where comes my help? Not from, not from the mountains or the hills, but from the Lord of hosts. So such people will not look at uh, their left or right whether everybody is uh, you know happy uh, the, the way he is performing everybody is happy about it no they know God and they would like to uh, go the way of God and is afford the one she nipa e wo ben kuma na ni fa name mo no ni mo yakopo onti no o be person o be daniel radin kuto again they do not consult men in pursuance of this kingdom business 
Ah, on fa weni en tu ni pa so ewo ye ofreju me yi ana se or so anamuntu ya ye tu. So Apostle Paul said it in uh, Galatians chapter one, verse fifteen to seventeen. And the Galatians for ngoma ne tiba ku yimudunum ebesi dunso na sma for Paul ekai. Is 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 he said a sword ye o ye me free me na yam na onam na dumso onam na dumso afreme no eni se obeda ne ba ah ne ba adi. He says but when. When God, who, who set me apart from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me that I might preach him among the Gentiles. So, that he would preach him among the Gentiles. No, say in Tamara. He says immediately. In Tamara. Immediately. Not the following date, and not the following day as well. And yena de chie ana nebi edi. I say na in Tamara. But immediately. Mene honam ni moja unto ejina. He conferred not with flesh nor blood. That is someone who want to be with God and receive everything that is. I mean within. The, the limit of God. God even doesn't have any limit. That the o, Lord holds for him. Again, such people do not move without God ordering them. So when you read the scriptures, you see that. David will always ask God, should I go? Am I going to conquer them? And God says, yes, go. And to kind trainer, David Ebusa, so erade minti won, me to me eti won, I'm men sabe kon medu won so nko nim, ne erade amane kwa yi, ansa ni wotu anamo. The movie song, my lord, the movie song. The movie song, my lord, the movie song. I hear the whistle in the mulberry tree. I know, I know, I know the mulberry song. Oh, move on, brother. Move on, sister. This is the movie day. Draw a little closer. Samuel chapter 23, 1 to 5. You see what the Lord did in David's life because David had relied on God and he went and inquired from the Lord, Can I go? Will I meet them? Will I conquer them? Such people, they are not ordinary people for witches and wizards. To threaten their lives. Now, who dear David? Eh, yeah, yeah. So, Odi can't go down. Eh, Rade. Ebu say, Eh, Rade. Eh, quite on faso. Eh, Banesa. Eh, na nip oni akor na kwe njina. Eh, yeah. Tote. Eh, yung kunim. Eh, mano. Let's read that last text and run up. First Samuel 23, 1 to 5. Yes. First Samuel 23, 1 to 5. Then they told David, saying, Behold, the Philistines fight against Kayla, and they rob the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and smite these Philistines? And the Lord said unto David, He said, Well, please, I just want you to repeat. That portion. Okay, please. Therefore, David inquired of the Lord, mm -hmm. saying, Shall I go and smite these Philistines? And the Lord said unto David, Go and smite the Philistines and save Kayla. And David's men said unto him, mm -hmm. Behold, we be afraid here in Judah. 
How much more then if we come to Cather against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord yet again. And the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Cather, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. So David and his men went to Cather and fought with the Philistines and brought away their cattle and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Cather. Amen. 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 At if you answer, say, Jerry, it is a Kayla Grono at town for in Sam. Now, what catcher there with the same? Share, we list the phone na Kayla Ripon. Now, a riffle, a reprobia. Now, there with the beside rather say. So, me coming for cum felicity for ye. Now, rather catcher there with the same. Conaco cum felicity for no. Now, Jekayla. Now, there with the merry man of catcher and say, Share, you that hampo, yes, throw, none can to say. Yabako Kela in the police before Dom Akokum. Now there we do call Subisa a Radibio. Now Radibuan is a story sign for Kela. Now men are made the police before no Meresha was, sir. And now there we do Nipanu Simu for Kela. Now only police before no Kokwain. Now Oka won one five. Now Okum won open Kase. Now there we do J. Kela. Hallelujah. Amen. Wo enemy yebekum okum kese. Amen. We are going to also have a great slaughter against the enemy. Yenti erebe pega no mo. The Lord is going to arise for our sake. Na wa shenidi anu nyam ewo me no ben no ho. And he will glorify his name in our life. Shall we rise our place? Uh, yes sir, nyina na mo so. Any day mo. This is the moving day. Oh, draw a little closer. When the streets are flowing, move on, brother, move. The movie song, my the movie song, the movie song, my Lord, the movie song. I can hear the rustle in the marble tree. I know. The movie song, so move on, brother, move on, sister. This is the moving day. The moving day draw a little closer. Well, the dreams are flowing. Move on, brother, move on. Oh, the movie song, my Lord, the movie. The movie song, my love, the movie song. I hear the song, the mobile retreats. I know, I know, I know the movie song. Begin <laughs> In the river, we are making Day by day, come watch me. By the power of God. Be by your hand and hold your chest. The power of God. We are kept by the power of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. 
person here to rededicate and recommit our lives into the hands of God. Maybe there was some time before we were afraid of um, witches and wizards, and because of that, we couldn't get to where we were supposed to get to. But if we've decided this morning not to go back, then the Lord is going to speak for us. The Lord is going to fight for us. He is going to go before us. He will never allow us to fall in the pit. Begin to pray for yourself now. Lord Jesus, your children are before me. Rededicating and recommitting our lives into your hands. We have none like you, Lord. There is none who is like you. And so we cry unto you this day. The Father, Lord, attend to our petitions and help us, O Lord. I am praying with you these petitions. Our brethren who are especially abroad are going through a lot. Concerning work, marital problems, documentation, spiritual attacks, and spiritual marriages, their children becoming a stubborn and a whole lot. We are standing to pray unto the Lord. Because even as he is with us, he has promised to keep us. So please, we are presenting these before the Lord. One has to do with what they have brought and what I am even placing before the Lord. So, as of a channel, only once a that the Lord should please look on them and intercede for as them. As of a that the Lord should go before them and speak on their behalf. May he open any closed door that ought to be opened. May the fire of God consume every chain. Let's begin to pray for our brothers and sisters. For our uh, uh, brother and the family from Nigeria and they are here. They are all out outside their nation. May God turn his favor upon them. May God visit them. May the countenance of the face of God be seen in their lives. Whatsoever that is serving as a, a, a barrier. Lord Jesus. Our Jesus Christ today, Amen. Amen. Shall we resume our seat in a prayer mode? By come out me. Amen. Shall we resume our seat in a prayer mode? You, Lord, and to never ever draw back. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your words which you've spoken unto us this faithful day, Lord. Telling us to never go back no matter what, Father. 
Lord, we cannot do this on our own, Lord. We humbly pray that you please help and strengthen us, Father. Please help us, Lord, to stand firm in you, Father. No matter the persecutions, no matter the circumstances, Lord. Please help us to hold on till we see that celestial city, Lord. And we are told that welcome, my good and faithful servants. Welcome into the kingdom of your heavenly Father. Lord, only your grace and your strength can do this, Lord. Please help us, Father. And Father, we know that you never ever draw back from those that abide in you faithfully, Lord. Lord, you give lives in exchange of that of your children who stand firm in you, Father. Lord, we humbly pray to commit your church before you. We humbly pray to commit all the prayer requests of your children before for you Lord those here in Ghana those outside Ghana Lord those whose petitions are here in hand oh Lord God Almighty captain of the host of Israel captain of the host of heaven seekers ministry please arise and fight on behalf of your children in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ Lord please take hold of children back the Lord and please go before us Father, you are our hiding place, you are our refuge, you are our fortress. Lord, if there be any forces that have set a pit before your children, may that pit swallow those demonic forces in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, please, Father, make the ways of our enemies dark and slippery, Lord. May the angel of the Lord pursue them, Father, and may they never have rest for your souls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Again. children individually against our families against our making it to heaven against our, our prosperity that you want us to prosper in you Lord Father if there be any people that have taken such a contract against it you are the judge of all the earth please Lord we humbly pray to summon them to the highest courts of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are the God who opens and no man can shut and who shuts and no man can open Lord please go before us may any door that needs to be opened before us that has been shut Lord no matter how strong those gates are may they be open right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and may any door wherewith the devil has been getting his way in our lives Lord be shut by the power of your precious blood and the power of your Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Lord our God you are a prayer answering God you are a God who is faithful and true and who never fails please father we know that you have done all that by your grace we've asked you and you've done even exceedingly abundantly above that and that you be with your son through whom you've given us your word Lord that he will never be the tail but will always be the head father even as he continues to stand in you Lord we know that you will help him and his family and the entire church Lord to meet at last in heaven by your grace for this we say that may your name be praised may your name be honored in the mighty name of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach Amen Let's love for the Lord.